Okay, I'm about to start repairs on this soft floor issue on this Forest River Mini Light 2304 model. It has the Murphy bed in the front and the bath in the back. I had a dinette which is gone. I've already taken those out. Some of the doors that'll be in the way are in the cabinetry. Um, up here's where the couch went. And uh, there's the Murphy bed right there. And what I initially had done to try to strengthen the floor was put the uh, heavy uh, self-stick vinyl tile down. That did not work well. So <clears throat> you can see here where it's separated and cracked and I had issues uh, on the other side like this. So we are going to tear all this up and start over. Okay, so I've got the vinyl out of the camper. And uh, I've been doing a little preliminary work here, but I want to show you where I found my soft spots, at least two of the most uh, of the worst ones. Right here where they've the two sheets of plywood they laminated over the foam meet. It is let's see if you can see it, but it is moving right there. And it's pushing down. That's where my soft spot is. So, <clears throat> my plan is to, I am going to overlay this whole floor with a quarter inch underlayment and bond it together with a, um, a glue uh, that'll permanently place these the original plywood and the one I'm going to lay down, I make it basically like one sheet of plywood then. And when I do that, I will overlap these seams that I have an issue with. But I am going to go ahead and I have experimented a little bit over here where I had another soft spot. And I've had some uh, success with that. I'll show you how I did that. Um, I just used the uh, foam, great stuff foam, um, which is fairly inexpensive. I still got a little bit left in the can here, and it was like under five dollars for a can of that at the home improvement stores. Okay, so over here, I'm going to show you this particular model. They made a chase through. The plywood here underneath the floor through the foam and it went all the way over and it comes up behind the uh, the power converter there so what I did was I basically had three channels so I went through and drilled holes uh, and where those channels were and sprayed the foam in there and if you look and see right here It actually broke the floor. It was so soft and right now That is fairly solid It's going to be good enough for what I'm going to do because I'm like I said I'm going to overlay this whole floor with quarter inch and then put new vinyl over the top of that so if you were wanting to do more, uh, not going to go with a quarter inch overlayment, just put vinyl down. You wouldn't have a whole lot of uh, issue filling these holes in. Um, the foam is underneath. Now today, what I'm going to do on this other one is I have drilled holes in you can see the basically the drill that I used my good old DeWalt and about a 3 8 inch uh, bit in there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to it I made this out of a nail and you can see what I have I'm going to put that in the drill drill my holes with a 3 8 inch then put this in there and spin it around and tear up the foam underneath so I have like a bigger cavity that's bigger than the 3 8 inch hole and I use the vacuum well, the shop vac I have to suck up that tore up foam 
from the original floor and then I'll inject the uh, the great stuff foam in there and um, that, what I'm hoping will happen is that it will be more like a column or a, a pillar underneath pushing the floor up uh, to hold it up better and that's just uh, uh, like I said, I don't really need it that much, but I am going to try that just to, for, uh, you know, see if I can get it stronger. I I really believe you need to go with overlayment because you're going to have issues with uh, this. This plywood is so thin; it's only like three sixteenths. It's not even it's not even quite a quarter inch, and you're just going to have problems with it. Uh, along the way. If you fix the soft spot here, you may end up with a soft spot later. So the idea is to have a thicker piece of plywood that will distribute your weight over a more uh, over more area and, uh, and give you more of a solid base and then it won't be so detrimental to the foam underneath. See, I hope you can see if you really push down on this board right here on either side. That's uh, that's where my soft spot was. I don't really have issues over here. It's a little bit, but uh, this was the worst one. I had another one here, down further. So what I'm going to do in this. This is right along the door. This goes over towards the doorway. But really, it's uh, the worst condition is in this area right in here. So, what I'm going to do basically, and it's pretty solid up here by the cabinets. So, what I'm going to do is drill a set of holes. this get started you don't want to drill through the bottom you feel a plywood un underneath there the laminated plywood that's on the bottom of the floor you don't want to drill through that So the foam is about, uh, about an inch and a half. So what I'm going to do, if you can see this, I'm going to just kind of a hook, go down in.
idea is to uh, trying to get this material out of here. take a little bit of time. Now let me move this over here. I'm going to show you exactly uh, if I can the hole that I got down. I think you can see it. see that I've got a that this hole right here is cleaned out a little bit so there's basically what I'm going for is there'll be a cavity around this something similar to that so then when I inject the foam it'll fill up and that comes out and uh, uh, it'll it'll expand and push up against the bottom of this plywood. So then when I get to, uh, where I'm going to laminate over the top of this, I'm going to use a, uh, like a vinyl roll, of, a vinyl flooring roller to push these, it'll push that down. I'll probably still have a little flex in it, but it's going to have a lot more support than it does now. And then that plywood laminating of that's going to disperse that weight out more. So you won't be stepping, you know, this soft spot will not be noticeable then. So, well, finish this up and then uh, get back and video the results. Yeah, I got this partial can right here. I'm going to try using that. See if it'll close anything. Yeah, it's working. So you can see when I I've got it pretty much cleared out. You can see that it's foaming out through. Do not touch this foam. It just turns to a sticky. Let it dry. <laughs> yeah, learn a lesson. This time, doing what I did, um, by creating a cavity underneath the seam here, than I did over there. But like I said, I'm not too worried about on the other one. I'm going to overlay this whole thing with a quarter inch. noticed I put these little wood strips in here to level the floor out you know, where the two pieces are level and now this is going to 
I'm just going to let this set overnight like I did the other one. And then tomorrow, I'll use a scraper like this. This stuff will pop right off once it's dry. If I try to mess with it now, you'll have a big sticky mess and you'll have to clean up. And it just really is a hassle. Okay, uh, next day, I did this yesterday, and I'll show you this stuff just pops, it basically pops right off, so it's not a big deal, it makes it pretty, pretty easy. Something I want to show you on this too. Is this foam does not easily compress and it does retract a little bit so um, I think it's it's actually uh, going to be better for the uh, uh, than what the original is because if you would look at the original foam it's more of a granular thing it breaks apart and it doesn't adhese anymore so that's why you're having to break down a foam underneath the plywood. This stuff, I don't think it's going to do that, so. So this is basically uh, all i got to do, and I probably will end up sanding uh, when I get done. Take a, just a, a sander and go over this, just knock off some of that stuff. And, uh, and basically that's it. And now as far as strength, that's really solid now. So this was, uh, this was probably the best way to repair a soft spot. Now I'm going to take you back in the bathroom and show you what I did yesterday. Okay, so yesterday I had a pretty big soft spot right here, and so I used up the rest of the foam I had, and uh, these just pop right off using this method. Notice that this is really solid now, but off to the side here a little bit, I still have a little bit more work to do. And then right up here, I got a little bit. So I'll get some more foam and I'll do the same process that I have, uh, did on these others. Uh, I'll drill a set of holes around here. It's not really doing it this way. You're not really weakening the plywood. You know, the holes are spaced far enough apart that you can get in there. And the foam works real good. It works its way underneath everything. And uh, once it's solid, this stuff actually will get a little stronger over a little bit more time. So uh, I think it's a good way to go. Uh, you could, like I said earlier, probably if I was going to put vinyl over this, I might take like, there's a wood putty that you can use. I clean these holes off just a little bit, put a little wood putty on there and sand it down and put vinyl over it. Now, the when they build these campers, 
They do not glue the vinyl down except in a few areas. I got an area here that had some glue. Uh, back over by the dinette there was some. Uh, back here behind the toilet there's a little bit. So the vinyl came right up. So if you're going to do it like this and don't put, don't lay anything uh, uh, underlayment over the top of this. You fill in these holes, do a little sanding, you'd be able to put uh, vinyl right back over this. And um, without gluing it, it really isn't going to uh, show any of the uh, imperfections underneath it. And that's basically the way they come from the factory, probably for the same reasons. So I got a little bit more work here to do, but um, basically I'm wrapping up this video. I pretty much showed you guys what, you know, what I think would work. It seems to be working good for me. And uh, then I'm probably do another video when I do the uh, underlayment and post that at some later date.